All right, so we're about to close up this retaining wall here. Um, we did this one a little different. Um, I call it the plywood method. It's kind of what a lot of guys on the East Coast up in Canada does. They use plywood, so they'll pour the footing first or the gray bean, and then they'll come up and frame with the plywood. But we're gonna use two by 12s. Um, kind of got muscle memory for that, but the concept is pretty much the same here. This, this gray beam here is uh, about 115, 120 feet long, 24 inches thick, two and a half feet high. We got number five coming out of, it's a double mat here. All this is 12 inches on center. Give you guys a closer look at the double mat here. There you go. These are all our main stakes here. For, for the wall, we're going to use 1 by 12 because we got this nice curve here and it would just been too difficult to try to use the 2 by 12s. We did use the 2 by 12s at the bottom, but that's more or less to hold the, uh, the stakes and get added some more strength down there. So yeah, we're about to close it up. Here are the 1 by 12s. And again, that just allows us to uh, get this curve here and try to walk close for you guys. All our main stakes are two by four. They're approximately about three feet on center. We normally go four to five, but like I said, because of that curve, we're kind of doing some extra staking here. Shouldn't have a problem, but just in case, I kind of like to overcompensate. But yeah, that's what we got going on. So stay tuned. We're going to frame this up, try to get this video up ASAP. After we do this, we're going to pour it next week. And then here on this driveway, they're going to backfill. That backfill is going to probably come about, about three or four feet up, believe it or not, on this retaining wall. So you won't see much of the retaining wall once we uh, once they backfill and put the driveway in. The driveway is about a 20% slope going up. I think that's about the max here. And yeah, that's what we have. So we're about to get to it. Appreciate you guys checking us out. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that good stuff. And we're about to make it happen. So just a quick FYI, I did create a playlist for this project. So the link is down below. Be sure to click that link if you want to see the rest of the videos to this project. It's probably going to be about 20 videos once I finish. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated while you're down there. Like the video as well. Greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys have any questions, any comments so far, please leave those down below as well. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well, staying positive. I should have two or three more videos coming out by Christmas since it's raining out here in the Bay Area. I'm pretty much going to be working on videos. So definitely appreciate you guys. If you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, you're looking for a retaining wall, some concrete work, modern landscape work, you can hit us up. All our information is below. Again, I'm going to just let this video ride out. So check it out. Sit back, relax, and continue to enjoy.
So just a quick FYI, besides YouTube, we on other social media platforms. All those links are down below. So if you want to follow us over there, that'll be greatly appreciated. We're on, not Amazon. I was going to say Amazon. Instagram. <laughs> and I just bought something from Amazon. We're on Instagram a lot. That kind of shows the behind the scenes footage from um, other projects that are going on. So check those out. We greatly appreciate the follow over there as well. So I know we're close to the end of the year. I know things can be a little bit hectic, but remember, it's cool to ask for help, hang around people who are positive, and let's get into 2020 on a positive note. Take care. I appreciate you guys checking us out. Like the video, share the video, catch you on the next one.